we will now discuss what is a partially ordered set and a continuation of what we discussed before right we defined what is a partially ordered set saw a few examples and even saw a small theorem which said that a partially ordered set can never contain a cycle please remember that we'll be using that in our current discussion so um, uh, we will be discussing posets and to sets to begin with and then uh, hasse diagrams and then topological sorting uh, basically i'll be dis discussing um, posets and to sets i will be uh, solving some excess problems in the classroom so i'm not going to discuss that right now but i'm just including it so that you understand that these two are connected okay so let's look at a theorem uh, in the graph representation of a poset i'm sorry it's a directed graph there is always a source now what do i mean by this let's look at this closely whenever you write a graph representation of a partially ordered set there is always a node which is a source what do you mean by a source by a source you just mean a node with no incoming edges there's only outgoing edges there's, there are no incoming edges so let's define that so before looking at the proof we need to define this properly a source is defined as a node without any incoming edges all right that's very clear you, you will not have um, any um, arrow marks arrow marks pointed at this node such a node is called a source the claim is that in a partially ordered set you will always find a source you cannot end up having uh, no source in a partially ordered set by that i mean there's at least one vertex which is a source right so let's see why as and always we are going to prove this by contradiction and, and uh, what will that be that will be like i'm going to start with a node and i'm going to tell you that you will certainly find at least a source in a partially ordered set let's start from a node a proof by contradiction means what we assume this is not true which means no vertex is a source what will happen then you take any node a in the partially ordered set it is not a source because that's a assumption right that the theorem is false there is no source at all a is not a source which means there is something in coming to a correct there is some vertex which is related to a right let me call this vertex some b right now we know b cannot be a source which means there has to be some incoming edge to b let's call this edge some yeah, some edge from some node okay whatever c or whatever whatever you want to call you can call it okay let's call it c and so on and so forth as you can see c is also not a source so it's pointed by some other node if i go on like this go on like this please note that the graph is finite we cannot go on like this forever we should stop somewhere so where do we stop we'll stop when we have a cycle maybe some node here might be um some node here might actually be pointing to to uh, this 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 is not a source whatever node i wrote just now is not a source which means there has to be some incoming edge here which makes it a cycle you see there's a cycle here so a new node that you get might uh, given that it cannot be a source might actually so have it might so happen that an existing vertex that you saw already might be acting as uh, you might have an edge from that node to this node so assume this doesn't happen which means the previous assumption continues which means um, this goes on forever so on the graph is finite the number of vertices is finite you should stop somewhere so where, what 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 does that mean that means that uh, you might end up having another node like this new node like this again incoming right because nothing is a source or you might end up having a uh, edge from a itself to this node in any case the point is uh, give it a, a patient thought all i'm saying is in any case you will certainly find a cycle you can it cannot so happen that you don't find a cycle you will always find a cycle and the moment you find a cycle boom you you're dead you're dead because the the given partially ordered set cannot afford to have a cycle we saw the theorem before this correct a partially ordered set cannot have a cycle but we the, we are uh, we are assuming that a partially ordered set doesn't have a source and we are ending up with the fact that it has a cycle which means it contradicts the very fact that a partially ordered set has a uh, um, 
doesn't have a cycle which means which means it is contradicting our contradict the assumption that we um, uh, made in the beginning is not right the assumption was there are no source vertices in this graph that is not right which means there is always there is always a source vertex at least one source vertex in a given partially ordered set so that's the contradiction all right uh, please observe that a similar proof holds good for a sink what do you mean by a sink uh, source means there is there is no incoming nodes a sink means there are no outgoing nodes you can also show that in a partially ordered set you will always have one sink the proof is exactly on the same lines as that of source let us now move on to the next point which is called um, the hasse diagrams it's a very interesting concept pretty straightforward at the same time so this is actually a very nice way to represent partially ordered sets hasse diagrams and it's a very obvious way of representing a partially ordered set Uh, remember what's a partially ordered set your prerequisite graph that qualifies for a partially ordered set right what is a partially ordered set something that is reflexive antisymmetric and transitive okay let's move on look at this there are six vertices here and let's just assume this kind of a network here all right uh, let me assume a relation that is reflexive for the time being uh, ignore the figure that i have written here let us consider what is a well, let's see what is a poset it's it it satisfies reflexive relation property which means it is understood that there are loops in such a graph if you take a partially ordered set every single node will have a loop so what i'll do is i'll omit those loops because they are understood okay it is understood that see for example um uh, there are certain things that are uh, assumed to be true in our life for example um, you you don't have to keep a tab on who comes inside a temple with their uh, footwear on because it's all understood that nobody is supposed to wear footwear inside a temple so there is no check that people put because because nobody generally does that very very rarely it is done so um, a similar uh, analogy here is that uh, we we just need not put loops because in a partially ordered set it's understood that there are loops so i am going to omit them all right that's with the reflexive relation next transitive i know very well that when a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r it is imperative that a comma c belongs to r right so there's no need for me to put an edge between a comma c as long as there's an edge from a to b and b to c it's implied that there has to be an edge between a to c so with um without losing anything i am going to omit this task of including a comma c in my relation r this is what makes a hasse diagram right it's understood so i'm going to omit it next antisymmetric relation now what does one mean by this it just means the edges are unidirectional correct the edges are unidirectional if you have a comma b it implies b comma a isn't present that's right so what we do is edges are always unidirectional we know it so we omit the directions there is no need for me to put a direction why what i'll do is i assume a top to down picture what do i mean by that i assume that the graph is always from top to down which means the node on the top is always related to a node in the bottom which is connected by an edge so direction doesn't make sense here i mean it's not, it makes sense but i i don't have to uh, uh, include it here it's understood it's implied you see so i'm going to remove all the edges so all in all we conclude that a relation that is shown here on the on the on, on a set s of comprising of a b c d e and f is simply this it is reflexive because a is related to a b is related to b it's understood in a hasse diagram that every single node has a loop on it it is also understood that you you go from top to bottom and that's the direction it is also understood that as you can see in this graph b is related to c c is related to d which means by transitive law b has to be related to d but i don't explicitly write that here 
because it's understood that there is an edge from B to D. Now, that is called a Hasse diagram. This is a very simplistic way of writing a partially ordered set. Note something here. Take a pause and note something very important here. A Hasse diagram is a representative of a partially ordered set in its simplest possible way without loss of any information. Okay, And such a diagram is actually a graph, right? And it's acyclic. Acyclic means there are no cycles there. That, that's what a partially ordered set is all about, right? It's a directed acyclic graph. But I can represent it this way as a Hasse diagram, is all I'm saying. Okay, so please note, this is a very uh, obvious fact. A partially ordered set is always a directed acyclic graph. You take any directed acyclic graph that represents a partially ordered set. That's a very straightforward observation. For completeness sake, I'm just including it here. Okay, so uh, coming to the first slide, we have discussed uh, partially ordered sets in detail so far. And the to-do list had posets and toe sets. Toe sets I'll discuss uh, later. Hasse diagrams we discussed. And topological sorting, topological sorting we'll be discussing as an exercise problem in one of our classes.